In the previous video we went through a lap weld so now we're going to look at a butt weld and also a T weld. So working off of the same exact file here we're going to copy this two times and then we're going to utilize the already set up positions and just reteach our areas because basically the program is exactly the same. So we're going to go to the select and we're going to copy this lap weld. Copy and let's call this instead of lap weld, let's call this butt weld. So now we have it saved as a different name, so yes. And let's go into that program, so let's go up to the butt weld, enter. And now we have all the same frames, we have our safe position, our home position. Um, we can get rid of our safe position in this program, I think. So we're going to go to here, ECDM, and we're going to go delete. And we're going to make sure that we have our home position and then we're going to have our weld safe position. So we're going to move to our weld start and then we're going to move up from there. So I'm going to click our end of our tool. We're going to switch it from tool mode to world mode and we'll bring it down close. Position. We should be a nice nominal number of 620. There we go. So now we should be directly on. Let's just move this over just a slight bit more. And let's go to, say, negative 49. That should be good right there. All right, so now that we are in position, we need to rotate this torch. So I'm going to go a direct 90 degree rotation on this. We are perpendicular to our weld. So I'm going to rotate it on the P. So right now we are 45 degrees. So I'm going to go to zero. So now 90 degrees, making sure that the welding stick is in the way and our welder robot is not being messed up in any sort of fashion. Then I'm going to rotate this so that we are dragging the weld, not pushing the weld. So I'm going to rotate this in negative 20 degrees. Now we are in the position of dragging. If you want to go in the position of pushing, then you'll go a positive 20. So that will be pushing the weld. Again, there are pluses and minuses to both of them, but in this case, we want to get the max penetration on this. So we're going to use a drag. So then we rotate this around so we can see everything is good. We're not binding up our welder head at all or the cord that's coming out. So I'm going to now start going through and touching up the position. So this is going to be my weld start. So I'm going to go to where it says weld start, number 12. So this is technically point one here. Um, and we're going to arrow over, and we're going to touch up this position. So I'm going to go shift, touch up, and now we're at that position. Now what we're going to do is we're going to bring this to a safe position. So I'm going to go coordinate, make sure we're in tool mode, and we're going to go up that 50 millimeters. So I'm going to type in 50, enter. So now this is going to be my safe position. So I'm going to go where it says welding safe position. I'm going to click number nine. We're going to go shift, touch up. So now we touched up that position. So we go from there down to here. So I'm going to go step mode and I'm going to go forward to my start position. So that's my weld start. Turn off step mode, turn off shift. And if I click the end, we'll get our position. I'm going to switch it from tool mode to world mode, bring it along my path. And we go probably right close to the end again, right around there. So that's going to be my weld end. So now that I'm at that position, I'm going to go to where it says weld end. Here's my linear path. We're going to take the welding speed over to that. So I'm on 15. So I go shift, touch up. So now that is a touched up position. Notice how that point moved from there to over there. This is the last point we have to do, which is the safe position. Okay, so then what I'm going to do is I'm going to click the tool, tool, and then we bring it up my 50. So I bring it, hold the click, and type in 50, enter, and now we are in that safe position. So I'm going to go down to line 17, which is the weld safe position. One more line down from there, which is the actual position. And then we go shift, touch up. So now we're at that position. So you can see very quickly, we just have to 
convert those numbers because it's the exact same procedure doesn't matter if it's a lap weld butt weld or a t weld we're going in there we're going to weld and we can swap all our procedures and schedules right from this program so just make a main simple program in which you can add and just refresh all your points so that you don't have to waste a bunch of time recreating things that's already been created from the previous program. Let's see this weld. So I'm going to go shift, arrow up to the top, enter on that, set any procedures that are faulted, and then we're going to turn off the teach pendant, and then we're going to run. So it's going to go to our home position, back down, weld. finish up, bring it to the safe position, and then back home again. So there you go. Let's go to the lap weld then. So now that we have this saved, let's go back to select. So we have our lap weld, we have our butt weld, we're going to go to the T weld now. So we can just copy this if we wanted to. So I can go to copy and options keyboard, keyboard, and I'm going to call instead of butt weld, we're going to call this T weld. Yes, we're going to copy it. Let's load into this. So now that we're inside our, oh, we're in the butt weld. Let's go back. To, there's our T weld. Enter. All right, so these are all the same. Home position is the same. Now we have to do the exact same thing for our T weld. So we rotate this around so we can see. I'm going to turn on the world mode. Mode. And then I'm going to get it really close to our robot. And I'm going to rotate this around so that our head is the correct direction, which is our roll. So I go 180 degrees. Now it's rotated in the correct direction. Again, make sure you pay attention to which direction our wire, our holder is actually going. So you don't want to have the wire holder underneath or whip underneath the actual robot arm itself. So you have to pay attention to that. That's again the downfall of the software is you don't get to see where that wire is actually going to be. So I rotate around here, move it into position, and we are 45 degrees or our T area. And now I'm going to go to the top view to make sure that we are in the correct area. Can't really see, so I'm going to have to move this around. Go to this position right here, to the end, and then we can look at the, our numbers. So let's make this nice nominal 605. Let's make this uh, maybe 250. And then let's make this negative 328. And we can look at the end. So that's right at the end. So let's bring this in just a hair bit. So we'll go 249 for that number. So we're not starting right at the end. Now if you need to start at the end, you can do that. So I'm going to go negative 329. There we go, so that's a lot better. All right, so now that I have my position, now we gotta make that rotation so that it's the correct direction. Now we're going to start from this side and we're going to weld to the opposite side. So we wanna drag, so that means our rotation needs to be this direction. So we're going to utilize the W, make sure that we're in the correct direction. I like to go 20 degrees. So you can see 20 degrees, that is gonna be a push weld. So if I need to add a negative number to that, so that it's a drag weld. So now that I have that position exactly where I want it to be, now I need to start going in here. I can start saving over these previous points. So this is going to be my weld start. So I go to number 12, and I go Shift, Touch Up. Oop, teach Pendant is... If you ever get that, just check up here. Teach Pendant is disabled. That's because we ran a uh, cycle here. So I'm going to turn the Teach Pendant back on, and now I'm going to do a Shift, Touch Up. There we go. So that's our first position. And then I'm going to switch it to tool mode, move it 50 or out of the way. And I'm going to go back to where it says start safe position right here, shift touch up. And then we're going to go to the start point. So what we do is go step mode, shift forward, and we kick up the speed just a little bit so we don't have to wait. Forward, forward forward and it'll go to our position so that we're directly in line. We turn off step mode and then I'm going to bring this over to the other side. So I'm going to switch this to world mode. 
and we we'll move it over to the other side. That's going to be right at the end, so I'm going to actually bring this in just a hair bit. Right there should be good. And this is going to be my weld end. So I go to number 15 right here. And then I'm going to go shift touch up. There's my weld end. And then the last thing I need to do is my safe position. So I go down here. That's going to be where it starts. So I'm going to go turn off shift coordinate tool. So I'm on. Bring it up. Holding the click on that. I'm going to type in 50. So we're at 50 millimeters away from there. And then I'm going to go shift touch up and now we're at that position so notice how we very quickly swapped between one program to another for a simple weld so if we have a fixture with three different welds let's now weld all three of these in one program so let's go select and we're going to go new program so go over create and i'm going to options keyboard keyboard and i'm going to go weld all three and then we we'll edit and then we go my new instruction miscellaneous remark and we just set up my frames I always like to get in the habit of doing that so I call frames so I add my tool frame and user frame I never assume that something is set up there we go and then I'm going to insert maybe like 10 lines, there we go. And I'm going to add my remark. And I'm going to call this home position. And then I'm going to actually add that home position. And I'm going to use the point register. Number one, there we go, home position. All right, so now let's actually do the programming or the welding areas. So I'm going to do a miscellaneous remark. Weld. And I'm going to go new instruction. And I'm going to call, call program. And we're going to do the lap weld first. And then what we're going to do is we're going to add a weight. So let's wait a few seconds. So let's wait maybe like two seconds. And then let's do new instruction and then call, call program. And then it's going to be the butt weld. Wait that two seconds. And then we're going to call on the T weld. And then what we're going to do is go to our home position. So I go ECDM, insert, and we insert maybe another six lines here. And then we go ECDM, copy, and we go select, copy. And then we go down here and then we paste, same position, home position. And then what we're going to do is we're going to add a uh, the go to that safe position. So we're going to go new instruction, miscellaneous, remark, and then I'm going to go safe position so that the person can grab each one of these without the robotic welder in the way. So we go add move point, joint, and we're going to go to choice, position register number two. There we go. So now let's see this actually run. Let's go shift, arrow up to the top, enter, turn teach pendant off, and then let's run this. So we'll go cycle start. and then to save position for unloading. So again, there looked like there was a couple areas that would have been a problem with the actual cord. You want to maybe go in there and just double check to make sure that the cord is not going to get dragged underneath the robot or get kinked in any other way. But again, that's pretty simple to modify just going in there and saving these new points. So now we have all three of our different weld joints. 
we have our lap, we have our butt, and then our T-joint. So next video, we will go through an actual round part. So we'll weld around an actual cylinder.